Hello there, I am Giant Quote with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards for the Game Boy Advance. In the last part, we rescued Taya Gardner, or I should just say Taya and Joey, Joey and Taya from the pier that, cause Merrick Ishtar was mind controlling them to do evil things, and we saved them. And we saved Yugi from drowning too, cause we dove in and rescued him when he just d dived in, for, for, cause he didn't want to battle, he didn't, he, want, he didn't want to duel his best friend Joey basically. Which is understandable, so, we got that all cleared up. Um, there's actually a couple things you want to do to, to do before progressing the game. I just want to talk to a couple people just to show off their dialogue. Um, I don't remember. There's this guy up here. I don't really remember, but you can talk to him. He'll say something like, "I'm glad I got to duel with someone strong like you. I didn't get get back the cards th that the ghouls took, but I got the opportunity to play with you. That makes everything. That makes entering this tournament worthwhile." Nice, but I don't remember doing you, unless I just forgot. And then here's the big bros, and it's the sister and the two brothers, I guess. Siblings, I guess. P -p 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 -p. I predict that you will win the tournament. My predictions come true. I'm sure that you will win. That you'll win. Okay. Cool. Um, I want to show off my status. Okay, so I got my duelist level is at 455 right now. I have all my located cards, all six of them, and I need to enter the finals of the tournament. And then um, my deck capacity is 2,750. And I have I have almost eight hundred eight hundred thousand dom. I know I have seven uh, seven hundred seven hundred ninety seven one seven hundred ninety seven thousand one hundred thirty five domino right now. Cause I, I went back and dueled the duel simulator over and over and over. And he actually keeps the same level of cards. Like if you have Lord of D, you can basically just win. And also if you if you can summon Punking King Ghost, like there's nothing that can be Punking King Ghost as the duel simulator. I don't know why the level didn't get amped up for this part of the game, but I guess it stays the same. And it kept on giving me 5,000 domino every time I beat it, and um, 5 deck capacity, so I got that up to 2,700, 2,750 as I said. So, let me look at my deck as a whole. Wait, I do want to add a couple cards up, but let's see. I have two Blue Eyes, Warped Wind Beast, Osseo here number 2, Mystic Horseman, uh, Zenki, I guess it's called. Punking and Ghost, Wyvis. I can do it by attack, actually. Yeah. Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Mel Dragon, Barrel Dragon, Dark Magician, Shadow Short Hunter, um, Last Hero from Another Planet. Yeah, these all look pretty good. I could get with some of the doubles, though. But yeah, I'm looking at. I look have a. Look, I guess I have a fun deck. Okay, so let's go in the trunk. I'm gonna do some rearranging here. Let's do by attack again. Where's the red eyes black dragon? I want to add in my deck. Okay, so 58. Okay, so I have to get rid of a card though. Oh, red eyes black male dragon. Where's red eyes? Did I get a red eyes black dragon from Joey? Okay, 12. Yeah, cost is 12. Okay. So. I swear from another planet's only nine, dang it. Um, let's organize it by cost actually, for right now. 289, wow. Yeah, I have seven of those and I can't even, I don't want to even add it one of them to my deck because it's just too high of a cost. I want my Mystic Horseman, they're good. Vo Jam. Good one beast. Three, I want my three, I want my three awarded D's, to be honest. One live wish, that's good enough. I want to keep that. Guess I can actually keep that in, yeah, I'll put that in my deck. Okay, now it's organized by attack again. Where's Red Eyes Black Dragon? Yeah. There we go. So we're gonna have my cost again. One long ride, scoundrel. I wanna keep that one, <laughs> just in case. I don't even think I need Penguin Soldier anymore. Um, 
I don't think I need two of these. Bale Dragon, 30, okay, that's good. I'm just looking around. 25. I don't think I need a Zinky either. Nineteen. Might as well keep that. Just in case like an electric summon comes up. Or thunder summon or whatever. Don't think I need two of these, so I'm gonna put one in back in my deck. Morphine, I might need that still. Red eyes is right there, cool. That too. Let me get rid of this. This is like a trap card that deadly to lower powered monsters that attack it. Um, if not monsters, um, attack is 500 or lower, the trap wipes it out. Yeah, this costs zero, but I don't want it in my deck really because it's, I've never seen it even being used when I use it and have it on my magic or trap side of my field. So I'm gonna put that back in my trunk or whatever. So yeah. So now we can add like five cards up to reason. <laughs> okay, so let's do it by attack. Well, um, type actually. I need to add at least one more dark energy. Where is dark energy? It's gotta be in here somewhere. I know I got a lot of them left over from the dual simulator <laughs> from winning it against it so much. What the heck? That's so odd. Oh my gosh, that's so frustrating. I can't find it. A number then. There it is. I have seven of these. Jeez, I'll have one more to my deck. It's 100 cost though. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then I gotta... Let's do organize it by attack then. I wanna do, I wanna add some more uh, monsters to my deck that don't need a sacrifice to summon. So like, right around in this area, the 1500s or so. Can add three of those as well. Three, I can have three of those in my deck, wow, okay. A wizard I guess I can add. Nope, of course. I need something that's 30 or under. Guess I can add sandstone. Okay, that's good. So now, my deck should be all good. So to, um, so to progress in the game, all you have to do is go to the, um, the art museum, basically, right here. So yeah. I have waited, you. St I waited, Stephen. <laughs> you, Stephen. Okay. Um. Yeah. There is no matter that I must. There's a matter I must discuss with you. Come with me, please. Okay. Oh, we have to do it ourselves. It doesn't walk for us. Okay. So here we are in the art museum. It's pretty cool, I guess. First, I should tell you of the secret behind the card behind cards. Um, in Egyptian. In Egyptian Egypt, wizards kept peace in the land. They did so by sealing away the monsters in the hearts of humans that, that causes the causes of all misery in stone tablets. However, some corrupt high priests tried to oust the reigning pharaoh by using the wizards and their stone tablets to carry their rebellion. This three year old, three thousand year old artifact is a record of that world. Of the record of that war, Pegasus, who created the dual monsters cards, based all his work on the stone tablets described here. Ancient Egyptians' wizardry has has been reborn as cards. You appear surprised. This is the truth, however. I'll tell you. I'll tell. I'll tell you this for a reason. I think I said that right. I may have not done that. Okay, but before I explain, there is something else. Do with me, please. I must confirm that you indeed possess true power. The true power that I believe you possess. Okay, if you think that, why don't you just, um, you know, like, 
and <laughs> just know for sure and just give me the Egyptian card, God, the, the Egyptian God card that you're gonna give me if I win this duel against you. Okay, so what the heck? That's a lot of. Okay, hold on. Um, Rabbit Hoistman. He says anti. Okay, let's see. It's a white monster. So if I if I have a dark monster, that would automatically knock it out, right? Yes, it would actually. <laughs> okay. Um. As long, I think she has a really big, um, a really big, um, you know, deck full of light monsters. So hopefully, this is a good hand because I start off with, um, Lord of D. I'm gonna do a revival jam next. Effect revival jam will split into two then. Okay. Let's hope I am on good standings with. Uh, I, have a good, I have a good feeling about this one. I should say. That's another white monster, awesome. I'll tuck her life points directly, I guess. And this is Merrick Ishtar's um, older sister, by the way. I forget the name of it, her, but um, I'll put the text over on screen right now, um, displaying her name. I, f I forget what- I, th I don't even know what letter it starts with, to be honest. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna discard this one, and... What would it be? Yes, yeah, just a lot, of, a lot of white monsters, really. That's all she has, really. So now she's down to 700 life points, and I just beat her. Awesome. I had a good hand to start off with. Revival Jam, Dwarda D, and um, Mystic Horseman. Wow. She's out of life points, dual victory. My deck pass increased by 30. 50,000 domino was obtained. Now I, def I definitely have over, like, um, how many, how, how many hundred thousands worth of domino I said to be in this video. Jeez, uh, Cosmic Queen was obtained. Oh yeah, this is a Define type, and I think there's a Ritual again. Um, it's level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 monster, I believe. It has 2,900 attack and 2,450 defense. It's a Define type. Again, a Ritual probably has to um, happen before you can summon this card. It's the type of Spellcaster. It's Cosmo Queen. Uh, summon is Define. Um, cost is 255. I don't really want to add this to my deck because it's like a big cost. And I want to just keep the cards that I really have in my deck unless I have to do slight adjustments really at this point of the game. Since we're kind of aiming, we're kind of, you know, stretching over to the, uh, the, um, you know, the end of the game basically. A woman of, uh, distinguished, distinguished, uh, de demeanor, um, and enormous power. She is said to rule over all the stars and planets in the cosmos. What is she, Rosalina from Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2? Well, just 1 basically, because I'm pretty sure Rosalina is not in Super Mario Galaxy 2. I could be wrong on that though. Anyway, yes, the rumors are true. You are truly skilled. Perhaps you are the one to put an end to my younger brother, uh, Matt's, younger brother's Matt's game. And as I said, she does have a younger brother, Merrick Ishtar. Brother. Okay. You, my young brother, my younger brother, I already, you already know of him. A man named Merrick Ishtar. Please tell, turn your eyes to the artifact again. Okay, we'll do that. Do you see the three tablets displayed? Um, I don't know if I don't know if ever they're also word right. Uh, they, these represent the three Egyptian gods of such rarity that they are often dismissed as mirages. Needless to say, that their cards are also the great, of great rarity. Anyone obtaining all three cards of this mystic, of any anyone obtaining all three of these mystic cards is said to inherit the legend of eternal invincibility and the title of the, of dual king so i get why that the ghouls and merrick ishtar and all them were trying to get the rare cards so they're trying to get not only a rare card and like a really powerful card but a egyptian god card because there's only like three of these in the game and they're really powerful too as such each card embodies enormous power in the wrong hands that power may be catastrophic my brother, Merrick Ishtar, has allowed evil to consume his heart. Merrick organized the ghouls to hunt down rare cards. He hopes to obtain the god cards, but by doing so, I must stop him no matter what. I am even willing to entrust you with one of the three. The one god card that remained in Egypt. Okay. However, before that, you must duel once more. Oh, look at Seto Kaiba. Okay. Let's see if we can beat him. Hmm, so this is it? So that's it? You're the final test? But a duel over a god card? Amusing. But a dragon like you, you're no match for me. Please, forgive me for forcing this test on you. Okay, you kind of did that. Okay, um, but I need proof. Proof that you are worthy of bearing the god card. Proof that you have the power to overcome evil. The card will choose me. And God, Stephen. 
Okay, so I think if you lose against Seto Kaiba, you might have to be, you might have to, you know, duel Merrick Ishtar's older sister again. I'm not sure on that. Hopefully I don't lose against Seto Kaiba here, because then, uh, I have to, well, this is a good way to grind, but like, as you can see, my deck capacity is 2780, when like, a normal let's play, uh, a normal playthrough of this game, or a let's play actually, um, is, um, at this point in the game, you have like 20, up to 2300 deck capacity, and I have 2780. 80, so I'm like, I have like 400 plus deck capacity because I've been grinding with the dual simulator twi not once but twice in this let's play. So, yeah. Let's see here. Um, uh, I'm not gonna put Jinjo isn't Joe in my deck, so, well, I only have one of them, so just in case I want to add it to my deck for some odd reason. Um, let's do by attack. Yeah. Where is Mabid Rabbit Horseman? Yeah, I have five of these. Okay. Use this as anti. Okay. Okay, here goes first, apparently. Because it's random, always. Uh, this is a bad hand. This is a bad hand. I'm- uh, no, 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 no. It's a light monster, too. Dang it. Okay, I need a dark monster. I need a water deer or something. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Which one do I get rid of? Cause it's hard. Can we get rid of it's I I have no defense. This sucks. I might have to I might have to duel I'm oh no he has Mystic Horseman like me. Okay. Mystic Horseman. Oh no, I I just drew Mystic Horseman and I can't it's the same oh man, this sucks. Okay, I'm gonna have to put him in defense mode for right now, but hopefully he survives, but I doubt it. Because he has a light monster that has 1800 attack right now. It powers up his monster, great. I'm gonna lose this duel all because I start off with a bad hand. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. And I have no co- oh my god. Okay, I wanna discard this card. I'm- this is game over, I'm done after this turn. This next turn I'm done for. See right there. I lost the duel against Seto Kaiba. <sighs> that's frustrating, cause, uh, I thought I was doing good. Well, no, uh, no, the the one hand I had, had an, I had, like, one card that I could summon without sacrificing, and it was only 900 attack card. So, ah, oh, man, I have to, I have to duel again, apparently. Ah, oh, man, I want to duel her again. I seriously don't. Okay, you talk too much now that I realize it. I'm just kidding. Okay, whatever. Uh, sort of, yeah, let's, no, that, I only have one of those. Put, um, use this as anti, my wicked one beast, I have 11 of them. This is a bad hand too, like I have nothing, I have no defense now. And I have to discard a card too, cause you get to draw another card. I'll draw, discard this one. Okay, this is cool. Bear trap, yeah, that's great. I have a bear trap at least. Yeah, that one goes bye bye. Okay, I'm down to 400 life points, 2,900, and I skill angel. Okay, um, yeah, those are too powerful. Yeah, my my best bet is to use its effect to draw a card. Okay, what did I get? I got, I got my weak earth summon. Yeah, that's great. I'm I lost the stool. I know it already. I lost the stool. I maybe can survive one more turn. Yeah, with 200 life points. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Even if I put th putting this in defense mode to s make sure one of the cards doesn't one monster doesn't get to my life points is useless because I have like 200 life points left. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, I have 200 life points left. I lost the duel. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't be losing against these bosses. I should I have good cards, I'm just not drawing them. I'm not having good luck with um pulling them out of my deck on my first hand or whatever. You know, it's just very frustrating. So let's try this okay, so I've watched I lost to Seto Kaiba and I've lost this Merrick Ishtar's older sister, at least once now. That's just great. I just wanna I just wanna just beat these two. Think of my Egyptian God card basically. Or the Egyptian card card that may choose me if I win. Again, it's a Kaiba. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I have a good hand this time. Um, 
Another wicked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put another one up for anti focus one beast. I got revolver gem, didn't I? Yes. See, this is a much better hand. I can summon all these, four, all four of these monsters without having to sacrifice. That makes a big difference. Okay. So light. Okay. I need a dark type at least, or dark summon. There we go. Because as long as I have a dark type, I can pretty much win this fight, especially if it's a warded D like last time I dueled it and won. When I won, at least. Last, last time. Provide a gem's effect. I'm pretty sure this is another white monster. There we go, yeah. So as long as I have a dark summon monster, I'm good with this fight. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm just making sure I can attack with them. See, like, I'm just piling one on um good cards now. Yeah, the dark summon really makes a big difference for this um duel. Okay. Okay. Another white type, huh? Yeah, I was right. See, I if I have Ward and D like on my in my hand at least, I'm pretty much gonna win this fight. A duel. I keep on saying fight for some reason. It's a duel, man. It's a duel. Yeah, I got another 50,000 Domino. Another Cosmo Queen. I guess that's something good. But I don't want to keep on, like, rematching these guys. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, gonna, I'm pressing the B button to go through dialogue instead of A. Because I like switching it up. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Now I'm using the A button to, compress, to progress with the dialogue. Okay, okay. Cool, yeah. I know the ghouls are evil. Yep, yep, we have to stop Mirakishtar. I will, I will. As long as I can beat Saito Kaiba this time, that'd be great. And Saito Kaiba comes in. Okay, cool. Yes, 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 Saito Kaiba. You need a haircut, by the way. <laughs> okay, yeah, you need proof that I am worthy of wielding the, you know, having the Egyptian god card. Yes, I know. On guard, Steven, let's go. Okay. So, I'm gonna put another look at one beast up for Anti. Let's see, I have, I have, um, I have Ward of D. I'll just put that in attack mode. Hopefully you don't have a better card. Okay. Okay, which is Apprentice? I'll use this effect. Okay, white monsters will be powered down though. Okay, there we go, nice. It still was enough to beat it, but still, I'm glad I could do that. Good thing I got Witch's Apprentice. Okay. I'm gonna discard this card and attack with this. Yeah, yes, Billy. Yeah, that creepy clown card. Yeah, that's what's gonna call it, clown card. Okay. Um. Gonna discard this. Put pot of greed right there. Let's see what I get. Good one beast. Okay. Yes, yeah, another white monster, awesome. Okay, we off to a good start. Oh no! Okay, what I'm gonna do... A tribute Witcher's Apprentice for Pumpkin King Ghost. And... Yeah. Okay, this is already... Yeah. Yeah, good enough. Down to 2,000 life points, okay. I'll use Dorn's effect. Yes, that power boost really helped with them, um, which is Apprentice that effect. It's down to 200 life. Okay, I just could just attack with, you know, um, Dorn. Maybe he has a chance to come back now. Maybe not. Okay, tribute. 800, 1800, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm only needs 200. Okay, and then I beat him there. Okay, that's good. Dual victory, yay! Capacity increased by 30. 80,000 dominant was obtained. Boys, the ultimate dragon was obtained. Now, I don't have one of these, but you could obviously try to find one at the card shop or something and buy that. It's level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think it's level 12 monster. It has 4,500 attack and 3,800 defense. It's a define type, or a define, a summon. 
Uh, it's Boy's Ultimate Dragon. Its type is Dragon. Its cost is 255. So hopefully I can add this to my deck, but I don't know if I can. And plus, I think I need the three Boy's White Dragons to summon it. Sacrifice all three Boy's White Dragons. I think at least in the anime, that's how it went. The ultimate of all dragons that has three all spying heads. It is found. It is formed by the fusion of three blue eyes white dragons. Interesting. Girl, lose to a dragon like you, so care of me. But even without the god card, I can win the finals. I won the title of Duel King that way. I won't end this way next time, Stephen. I hope not, because I don't want to lose against you and then win against you the next time I get a duel you. Jeez, okay. Congratulations, Stephen. I shall entrust you with one of the Egyptian gods, Obelisk the Tormentor. Please use that card and stop my brother. He is he is trying to exploit exploit the power of cards uh, to satisfy his desire for revenge against the world. If he were to obtain all three god cards, but the, uh, if he were to, to um, if he were to obtain the all three god cards, I think that's what it said. But the future has chosen you. Please do not fail. And we got the obelisk the tormentor was obtained, and it sounds like a chime from Cave Story. If you've ever played that game, anyone in my viewing audience has played Kid Story. So it's like it was a we were a game for the Wii, and then um it's a PC game on like Steam and all that. It's like an RPG. Kind of sounded like that kind of notification or something. Anyway, the um, museum's not really much to look at. I mean, it's just a I guess these little seat displays in this chair right here, basically just showing off where you can sit. There's really nothing much here. There's this thing, which is the um, artifact of the war, I guess. And then there's this blocked off staircase, another chair, some paintings, like a pyramid right here. Some other paintings, maybe artifacts, or um, hieroglyphs or whatever. I don't know. Not really much to see here, honestly. So I'm going to go back to Clock Tower Square. Okay. And also, I want to show that, um, uh, let's see here. By attack, I guess. Yeah, not this one. Yeah, the Egyptian guide card is right here, actually. Yeah. Its details. Yeah, its cost is zero. If I, if I forgot. Oh, wait, I didn't show this one off yet. It's level 12 monster, I believe. It's a Define Summon. Uh, I'll push the Tormentor is its name. Type is Warrior. Cost is zero. So that means you can add this to your deck as long as you can remove just one card. It doesn't take anything to put in your deck, which is awesome. So you don't want this card in your deck anyway, so that's why they made all the Egyptian card cards. God cards like Z cost of zero because. Um, it's just the be it's just so you can always put in your deck and have them in your deck as long as you have room for cards space wise. Anyway, a monster that can wipe out all the monsters on the field at the same time. It hits with the, the foe with four thousand life points worth of damage. So four thousand life points of direct four thousand life points of direct damage from this card. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my deck, obviously. Okay. Um. I'm gonna put. Yeah, I'm gonna take out Blue Red Eyes Black Dragon. Wait, never mind. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna take out Red Eyes Black Metal Black Dragon or whatever. Yeah. I won't need this. I'll have all of this or whatever. There we go. Okay. I'll uh, just keep my deck like that, I guess. So, in the next part, we're gonna go to the we're gonna enter the game shop or whatever and um tell our friends to get ready that we got the Egyptian God card or maybe they already know or something, I don't know. But um yeah, we'll be ready we'll be getting ready for the finals basically. So this has been none of my you get the sick cards of the Game Boy Advance so let's play part and next part we'll take on the finals and hopefully start round one of the finals. That'd be nice. So yeah, this is Dranko again. I would like to wish you again and goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Cards for the GBA. Let's play.